Thanks for liking on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. On this Saturday morning, temperatures will quickly climb into the middle 70s by lunchtime. Into the afternoon, low 80s for some of us, others of us still in the upper 70s. I think that we're dry for the most part during the day. I won't rule out a few spot showers out there, maybe a rumble of thunder. It seems like the better chances for rain and storms, though, comes to us as we head into the later afternoon, especially into the evening hours. Temperatures today in Tupelo, I've got a high of 80, 79 in Aberdeen and in Amory, 78 in Houston and Calvin City, 79 in Water Valley. As we look into the Golden Triangle, 81 in Columbus, 80, West Point, 80 in Louisville and in Macon, 79 in Yapur and in Ackerman, 79 also in Soligent, Vernon and Reform, Aliceville and Fayette, up to 80. Let's talk about Futurecast this morning. It looks like we're dry for the most part. There's a few showers that will work their way through this morning and the afternoon hours. The big event, though, that we're watching, though, comes towards us later on tonight. Notice by 6 o'clock hour, it looks like a batch of rain and storms is moving in from the west. I think that batch of storms is going to bring some strong to severe storms into our area. And it approaches our area at the I-55 corner by about 8, 9 o'clock or so. It'll quickly push on through, though. By midnight, it looks like it's out of our area. So there'll be a window of opportunity about six hours or so this evening into later on tonight where we can see some of these strong storms push on through. The latest this morning for the Storm Prediction Center has the slight risk for all of our Mississippi counties, a marginal risk for our West Alabama counties. The enhanced risk, level three out of five, is in the Delta. But let's not focus on what color we are on the map. Let's talk about the threats in our area. Main threats with these storms will be, of course, damaging wind gusts greater than 60 miles an hour and quarter-sized hail, maybe a little larger. And uh, cannot rule out a couple of tornadoes that may spin up in this line. Whenever we see a line of storms like that, that's something that's always a possibility. But that threat's a bit lower. We may, though, also talk about flash flooding before all is said and done. These are our Saturday storms after 6 p.m., I think, until perhaps midnight tonight. Here's what happens, though. This frontal boundary sticks around in our area, and it doesn't go around anywhere. It's hanging around like a rusty fisher. We're still in the warm sector Sunday night and on Monday morning. Until we can get this low and this cold front to push on through, that's going to leave us in the window of opportunity for rain and storms, some of which, we may, which may be strong to severe. As we talk about Saturday night's event, there's the chance that more severe weather may occur on Sunday during the day, a slight risk for much of our area there. So definitely something that we'll be keeping our eyes on. Over the next seven days, rain and storms on and off through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, maybe Tuesday morning before we can get the last remaining showers out of here. The thing to note over the next three days is that it is not a total washout. I want to make that clear. There will be dry time during the weekend. There will be some dry time on Monday, but the chance for rain and storms really exists as several batches can come on through. By Tuesday and Wednesday, we are drier, upper 70s and low 80s. Thursday, looks like we may get some more scattered storms out there. A little cooler as we head into Friday, low 70s on the board.